Okay, in the last lecture we completed the leg setup and control curves for the leg. Now in this lecture we will see how we can rig uh, our hand with forward kinematics. Now notice this is not the same file that we worked before because I have made this hand straightened up. Now because having straight hands is very easy for us to rig otherwise we'll have to uh, work out a little bit more with the, the joint orientation. So keep in mind whenever you're making a model make sure that the hands are laid out straight okay from the top and from the front. So this will result us in creating uh, straight joints which will be easy for us to work with especially when we're working with forward kinematics. So what we have to do is basically we'll create one uh, control curve for the shoulder, one for the arm, one for the elbow and one for the wrist. Now this wrist control will also uh, contribute in uh, controlling the fingers. So now let's go ahead and start creating the control curve. So I'll go ahead and create nerves primitives circle. For the first circle I'm just going to make the uh, size a little bigger. So radius I'll make it 1.5. I'll try to bring it up. I'll hide the geometry. I'll turn on point snap and click here. So that brings it up there. I can rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, let me turn on the geometry and make sure that it is visible. Okay, that's good. Now I'll have to name this CC for control curve, left arm. Okay, I'll get rid of this uh, values that are there, modify, freeze transformation, and I'll delete the history by going to edit, delete by type, history. I'll make a duplicate of this by pressing Control D, and I'll move it to the next joint, keeping point snap on, click and drag. Okay, I'll again get rid of this uh, value and before that I just want to make this a little smaller size. I'll make it 0.8 for the scale. Modify, freeze transformation, that's perfect. And for this third control I'm going to create a custom design. I'll go to the top view, I'll turn on uh, grid snap and I will go to create CV curve tool. I'll open up the options make sure that I make it linear so that it will create sharp lines. I'm going to create the shape that is similar to a hand. Okay, that looks more like a hand. I'll go ahead and select it. Okay, it's down on the ground. I'll bring it off to where I want. I have to make it smaller and I have to bring the pivot point to this joint. So I will go ahead and press insert key and bring it here. I can turn on my point snap again and okay before pressing insert key I can also bring it up here okay now I can select all these control curves I can hide this okay bring them a little bit up okay I can make it a little smaller make sure that it almost fits this shape. Okay, because it is in the shape of a hand so that it will be easy for us to select this control later. Okay, now let's get rid of this uh, values by going to modify, freeze transformation. Good enough. So that this will help us to make all these kinds of rotations. Let's make one control for the shoulder. Let 
Let me go to the front view. I'm just going to create a NURBS circle. It'll come here. I'll bring it up. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Go to control vertex, pick up these center ones, and scale them down. Okay, just to show that this is the uh, left side, I can make these two sides a little smaller. On this side, I would make a bit bigger. Okay, so let me put it somewhere in this area. And I'm going to put it somewhere behind the character so that it will be easy for us to select. So I'm going to push it out here. I can scale them out. Bring it closer. Okay. And the pivot point has to go to the center. I can also press D key as a shortcut and I can snap it there. Okay. Okay, so let's get rid of all these uh, controls. Modify, freeze transformations, edit, delete by type, history. Okay, let's give a name. This is going to be called CC left shoulder okay and for this control I forgot to give name this is called CC left hand okay so all the four controls are ready now we just have to do some connections so first things first, uh, this hand is going to basically do two things. It's going to rotate up and down, left and right, and it's going to move also. Now the movement would happen or control will be controlled by the other joints above. So what I can do is create a constraint to just control the rotation. So I'll select the parent, that is the control, and shift select the joint joint is not getting selected because I've turned this off I'll turn it on select it go to constrain and choose orient constrain so what this basically does is whenever I rotate the joint uh, the control it would also rotate the joint okay that's good now I'll have to do the same job here so I'll select this shift select this and I'll choose Constrain, Orient Constrain. And that would do the exact same thing. Now, especially for this kind of con this control, we don't we we just have to rotate in one single axis, that is Y axis. So we can just ignore the other axis. Now it, it you might find a small problem that the other hand is going away, which we can fix by parenting this one to this one. So I select the child and the parent and hit B. So now you can see when I rotate this, that joint also move along. Okay, that's good. And I'll do the same thing here. Select this. And shift select this, parent, child, constraint, orient constraint. Now, sometimes when you do orient constraint, if it is not working the way uh, it is working for me you, you'll have to turn on this maintain offset what it basically does is if you turn this off it will try to give the same exact orientation of the controller to the joint so if it is not working turn this on and then try it should work okay so I'll hit add and now it should rotate them and I'll have to make this to be a child of this P let's try again okay the whole hand is moving together okay that looks nice okay now for the shoulder we will create an IK handle from 
the shoulder joint to the arm joint so that we can control them vertically lifting up and down. Let's go ahead and choose Skeleton, IK Handle Tool, go to Options, make sure that it is SC Solver or you can reset the tool, close that. We come down here from the shoulder, we will create an IK Handle for the arm. So this will help us to lift the arm or to make the shoulder go up and down. And you should be careful while doing this, if you have accidentally turned on your point snap or some other snap, it may not give you the result that you want. So make sure that you turn off all the snaps and then you can experiment that out. Okay, now I will control this IK handle with the help of this shoulder control. So all I have to do is select the IK handle, shift select the shoulder control and press P. So that will create a dock. So now I can use the shoulder control to control the IK handle. And one last step, I have to make the hand, the arm control, to be the child of the shoulder control. So now the shoulder helps you to lift up the arm. And the next joint will make us move the arm and the elbow and the hand. Let's go ahead and turn on the geometry. And I'm just going to make a simple uh, skinning just to check how this result comes out. I'll select the joint, shift select the mesh, go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind. So now you can see that the character is controlling. Okay, good enough. Left and right. Okay. And let's go ahead and check this out. The hand should rotate okay that's fine Let's select the next one okay the whole thing is coming together that's fine and here again you're able to bring it down move it forward backward good enough so along with that let's try to rotate this and let's try to rotate this Okay, that's fair. That's wonderful. Now let's try this shoulder control. Up and down. Okay, we're able to move the shoulders. You might find some small problems which we will have to fix while we work on the skinning. So this is just a test for skinning. This is not the actual final. Okay, we're able to lift the shoulder. Now let's check that when we go to the go to another axis. Okay, so let's try to push this up again okay so yeah that's good enough for shoulder okay so I'll just uh, detach the skin thing that I did detach skin okay so that is basically the hand control we'll have to we can make a duplicate of all these uh, controls to the other side and we can do this uh, rigging for the other hand also